Yeah, okay. but they can't see our hands. Yeah, we just use our hands. We just bring them up. Like this? <laughs> Hello, everybody. Uh, Green is really excited, and I am excited. Slightly less excited, but still very what? excited. Well, it's your channel, really. So I can't be as excited as you. Why? Even though I'm extremely excited. <laughs> Okay, hi, hello everyone. My name is Green. And I'm Gavin. I recently started uploading YouTube videos, sharing our couple stories, vlogs, and also K pop covers. Mm. <laughs> and I got 100 subscribers! 100 subscribers! Thank, Thank you, you, each and every one of you. Thank you Thank so you, much. Thank you, Harold and John. Stacy, Vanessa, Gertrude, well, what Lord about, what Smith. About, what about Korean people? Korean subscribers? I, I don't want to try and make up a Korean name. I'll, it'll be like a bad word or something. <laughs> Anyways, it means a lot to me because um, I just started, barely just started YouTube. And I also think those of you who watched my videos, our videos, and also liked videos. And commented. Yeah. <laughs> if you're new here, if you haven't subscribed to me yet, it's okay, you can just click the button. She'll forgive you just this once for not doing it already. This is your final warning. <laughs> okay, so I realized that we actually haven't introduced ourselves to the viewers. Okay, so, so I thought that this could be a really good excuse mm -hmm. or opportunity opportunity yeah to introduce ourselves i agree okay i'll read the question where are you from i'm from south korea and i'm from canada what do you do i'm a software engineer i'm a composer for film and games where do you live uh, where, where do you where do you live that's that's a good question where? I have home everywhere. <laughs> okay. So I grew up in Korea and then I moved to Russia to study when I was 13. And then I went back to Korea after my study. And then I came to Seattle, finished my master's degree here. And that's where I met Gavin. Okay, where do I live? Currently, I live in Seattle. I was born in Canada and I grew up there for 10 years and then I lived in California and I grew up there for another 15 years. No, not 15 years. <laughs> I was like calculating. It was like another <laughs> 12 to 13 years. And now I've lived here for about three years. Then they can, they can guess your age. I'm 25. I'll be 26 in like three days. How did we meet? Uh, briefly please. Briefly, briefly please. Green went to a VR meetup because she's interested in composing music for VR games. And I went to the same VR meetup because I just wanted to play VR games. Um, and he's a nerd. Yeah, and I'm a huge nerd. Uh, so I saw Green and I thought, hmm, yes, <laughs> I should talk to her. And I did. Um, and you got my number. I got her number and then somehow we were friends like a year because he never yeah. texted me he never texted me well except one I'm time i'm bad at texting when we're trying to like grab a coffee yeah, yeah so anyways um so i texted him and i thought he's not interested in me i thought he's just like really really I was just super being friendly super respectful to the, the point where like we just don't talk at all <laughs> <laughs> but like a year later she came back we we met up again and we started thinking What language do you use to talk to each other? Korean! Hanguko <laughs> Moteo. English, obviously. Mostly English, but. Mostly? We'll, we'll say like. Saranghe, choa, chuo, pegopa. I really hope that I can talk to him in Korean in future. When do you feel cultural shock? Hmm. I don't know. I think we get along pretty well. Yeah, I feel the same. I put it <laughs> when... <laughs> oh, but she likes to put towels on pillows. I went to stay with her family in they South could Korea. Be, they could be just us. I don't know. Okay. I don't know if they do it. 
It's it's really weird to me. I don't put a towel on my pillow. That's cultural shock, I guess. <laughs> so the reason that I put towels on my pillows is how to say you're smudging your face to pillows. You know, there is it's impossible to change the pillowcases every single day, and I'm a little paranoid about it. I'm a I'm a germaphobic. Yeah, that's the reason that I put towels. You know, and. I mean, I mean, my mom started doing that, and I kind of liked it, so I kept doing that. I felt culture shock when you don't eat ramen directly from the pot after you cook. Oh, yeah, I like to put it in a bowl. <laughs> I don't know why that's so strange. Anyways, I don't feel any culture shock. I consider it as like a different pers personality, you know, not the cultural differences. Yeah. I'm trying to think if there's anything weird, like when I met your parents. They're pretty cool. I don't know, there's the, the different things you have to remember, like when you shake their hand, you have to use both hands. <laughs> um, right, right, right. You have to always speak respectfully to them, but then... But if you, you speak... don't speak Korean. Well, I mean, for, for the few things I know, yeah, I have to yeah. say them respectfully, right, but then right, right. whenever I talk to you, I'm supposed to not, because otherwise it's like it's cold weird. and distant, distant. It's okay, I'll consider it respectful to me as well. Okay, anything else on here? No. Okay, end of video. <laughs> So thank you so much again for watching. We have few we have videos. Some, we have some. Uh, we have some good videos in the pipeline. Yeah. So. Thank you. Let's do the wave. Wait. Uh, what? No, 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 no. The wave. Are you gonna put it down first? Okay.